Hey, what is going on, you beautiful people? Welcome back to Ron Gen 1080p, and I'm back with a computer video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to install your RAM stick. And if you're new to my channel and new to this video, this is a part of a video showing you guys how to pretty much build a gaming PC. If you check the playlist in the description, in the description, I'm showing you guys how to put your computer together from scratch, from the motherboard to your power supply, the GPU and the CPU. RAM sticks, everything like that. I'm going to show you guys how to put it all together so you can have a nice gaming PC. Every parts are different, but kind of the same a little bit. Then this one right here is the RAM stick. I'm going to show you guys how to put it in. This is the T Create 32 gigabyte um, RAM stick. They're very easy to put in. Each side has levers on them. You see them right here in this picture right here. You see the blue ones. That is how you want to put it in if you only got two RAM sticks. Most of the times you have to uh, put them in a certain order. You don't put them right next to each other. To get your full performance out of your RAM stick, you need to put it in like skipping one. The blue ones, the ones that are blue, that's where you want to put your RAM stick in. That's pretty much what I did for my motherboard and also the RAM stick to get the full performance out of it. Now, if you're using four RAM sticks, it doesn't matter. You just put all four in. But if you're using two, this is how you put them in. Just slide them in there, open the clamps up, and like uh, ease them down. And when you ease them down, the clamps will close in automatically. You don't have to put a whole lot of pressure onto it, but that is how you pretty much put it in, guys. So that's it for this video. Check the playlist, and there's also other videos on other computer parts if you're trying to learn how to install them and everything like that. There's different RAM sticks, different sizes, and there's some RGB, there's some real, real high performance ones. It's up to you to, you know, find the one you want and make sure it matches up with your motherboard and your CPU. So, until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for tuning into the channel. Hopefully you figure out how to do it, guys. Catch you guys in the next one.